Good evening. My name is Eve Molster. I'm the founder of the social enterprise called Future Threads. I'm a visual artist specialising in textiles. I manage community projects and I'm also a forest school practitioner. Future Threads aims to teach people of all ages and from all walks of life about where fibres come from and how they're made into textiles. This project is a positive response to a crisis in ethics and the environment. Our world population has become too reliant on oil-derived synthetic fabrics and other textiles which require intensive farming and use harsh dyes and chemical finishes. Synthetics don't degrade and they shed microplastics with every wash, killing sea life on a huge scale. Part of the issue is that we don't witness any of these problems. They happen somewhere else. So ultimately, Future Threads is aims to inspire people to become greener consumers. The aim is also to encourage more people to train in textile production, so we tackle these issues from a place of local resilience. Our work unfolds in two ways, as outdoor learning opportunities in a forest school type of setting and on a farm, and as indoor classes and workshops. Participants learn on many levels because we offer the information through different mediums, from storytelling to science, maths to horticulture and art. One parent told me that after a Future Threads workshop, their eight-year-old son had recounted the many ways you can use nettle to make tea, to, to make plant food, and even to make thread, and how you can pick them without getting stung. The parents were fascinated. And in that moment, I could really see the true power of inspiring children. Over the next year, Future Threads will expand its successful workshop delivery to more primary and secondary schools in Exeter and the surrounding areas. Also on the land, I've been working with a small group of volunteers taking them through a process which I'm developing called Seed to Stitch. Working as a team from spring through to autumn, planting, caring for, harvesting and retting fibre plants. This year we've grown flax and cotton. The volunteers learnt new skills such as felt making, paper making, making cordage and simple looms. This work was made possible through the Vodafone World of Difference Award and working with a land-based arts charity, Organic Arts. In 2014, Future Threads will further develop the Seed to Stitch programme with targeted groups. We're also planning a commercial organic dye plant garden using native species of plants. The great thing about working indoors sometimes, besides being dry and warm, is having a place for focus sessions, whether it's to tell a story about the discovery of silk or upcycling t-shirts. The intention this coming year is to create an online network of existing fibre and textiles groups in Exeter and create new groups where they're needed. It would be wonderful to connect with people who would like to join us on this creative journey people who have particular skill sets like fibre experts, scientists, education specialists and advisors, textile engineers and horticulturalists. And even though Future Threads will have commercial strands to its work, we will need investors and funders to acquire land and equipment. I would like to finish with a quote by Anna Lappe that has inspired my work recently. Every time you spend money, you make a vote for the kind of world that you want. Thank you.